Okay, guys, so same thing. He's gonna start to stand. And I'm gonna go here, right? I'm gonna come back, put my knee there, and I'm gonna try to reach his lapel. But look how his, his hand is pushing my hand away and don't let me get the lapel. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna start to switch my legs here. Look how I'm gonna switch my legs. You see? So I'm here, I'm gonna start to switch my legs. So go back, backwards here. As I'm switching my leg, look how my knee is gonna go all the way on his heel and trap his heel. Look, so I'm switching with my hip. Look, I'm not doing this. Look, my hip is switching. And look how I'm trapping his, his heel here with my knee. This hand here is very important to be controlling his knee and pulling it to me. Because not pulling just here, but pulling to the side. Because I don't want him to turn his knee that way. Because that's how he's gonna be able to skate. So I'm like this, I, don't, I can't control his lapel and I can't reach with this hand here. So I'm gonna switch this, you see here? This hand here is always tight. Now this hand, I'm gonna switch to here, to the back, uh, to, to the back of my back. My hand is not gonna be posted like this anymore. My hand's gonna switch to this, you see here? So my fingers are gonna be posted to the opposite side of my back, right? So I'm gonna be here, I'm switching. Look how I switch my hand, you see here? I'm almost like straightening my, my arm, because this arm here is what's gonna push me so I can put the, the pressure on his knee here. See how I'm putting the pressure straight in his knee? Now this leg, if it's not falling to here, this leg I'm gonna pull, but always tight, always tight on his heel. I'm gonna pull my leg backwards, look. Once he falls, I go forward to keep him tight there. Okay, so when I get to this position here, he doesn't let me control his, his lapel there. He's always taking it out. So my hand's gonna go to the ground instead, and I'm gonna switch, you see? My hand is positioned very good here. You see how my fingers are here? But as I'm switching here, I can't keep my hand there. Look, my hand has to move, you see? So as my hand moves, I have to put it back again with the fingers there, you see? So from here to here, you see how I move my hand back? My legs are like the omoplata here, right? So my legs are always like trying to tap him out here, you see? So as I'm here, look, switch the hand, my legs are like this. My hand always pulling the knee here, and now I'm gonna start to put the pressure going forward. You see how I'm going forward? If it doesn't fall, I pull the knee like this and go to the top. But, go back. One thing that it can happen here all the time is when I'm switching this and I start putting the pressure, he starts taking the leg out. But he has to kick, so it gives me momentum to stand up with the leg here. So I can come back here again and start putting him down with a single leg. Okay, in the regular half curl, we're gonna talk about the basic moves on the half curl, the easiest moves there. You know, it's not like any complex guard or anything like that. We're just gonna start from the basic position of half curl and we're gonna have a couple attacks from there. 